and do some dictation, um, practicing the spelling word that we just talked about. If you do not have your line piece of paper, your pencil, um, I would like for you to go ahead and get that and then number from 1 to 20. We're going to be doing both words and sentences. So um, go ahead and do 1 to 20. We're going to do 20 words and then on the back of your paper you can do five and we're gonna do five sentences on the back. When you're ready, um, go ahead and keep playing the video. All right, your first word is going to be huff, huff, ready, write. Number two is quill, count it, quill, finger tap, Write it. Number three is pass, like passing the ball in basketball. Pass, count it, finger tap, pass, write it. Number four is buzz, buzz, B -uzz. buzz. Number five, chill. Go ahead and pound it. Chill, finger tap, and write it. Number six is loss. Loss, pound it. Loss, finger tap, write it. Number eight is less. Less, pound it. Less, finger tap, write it. Number nine is jazz, jazz, like music that has lots of saxophones in it. So go ahead and pound jazz, finger tap, and write it. Number 10 is a name. This is Jill, Jill, pound it, finger tap, and write it. Now when you finger tap anything that's double, we're going to b -uz. This double is going to be one tap, one tap. Number 11 is moss, moss. Pound it, finger tap, and write it. Your next word is fuss, fuss. Pound it, fuss, uh. And write it. Now remember you can always go back and finger tap and pound it if you need to a couple of times. Number 13 is chuzz, chuzz. Pound it, chuzz, chuzz, and write it. Number 14 is zass, zass. Pound it, finger tap, and write it. Number 16 is vuff, vuff. Pound it, vuff, vuff, and write it. Number 17 is fell, fell. Pound it, fell. And write it. Number 18 is yill. Yill. Pound it. Finger tap. And write it. Number 19 is knoff. Knoff. Pound it. Finger tap. And write it. And number 20 is soft. Soft. Pound it, soft, s off, and write it. Okay, if you happen to miss um, my words, you can go ahead and go back and rewind it and finger tap and pound as you need to. But we're going to go ahead and move on to just a new concept that we want to make sure that you know. So when you have the word, 
we were talking about doubles, like the word all, we do not say al, we say all. So that a is going to turn into an o sound. Now when I put the two lines by this, that means that it's the sound. So the l is doubled when it comes to the end of the word. So things that we could use with this would be tall, call, fall, um, mall, hall, um, and then we have something else that's a little bit different. So when we have the word salt, we don't have a double L. We don't have a double L. When it comes to the end of the word, it's doubled. When it's in the word and it makes that aw sound, it's just one L. So we're going to go ahead and if you haven't already, um, after 20, I want you to mark 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So five more um, lines, and we are going to do some practice of that. Some practice of that. In words like walk, chalk, and talk, we have the L that is silence. So that A is still going to make that O sound. It's not a double L because it's not at the end of the sentence, but we are going to have, it really sounds like talk, like this, but it's really T-A-L-K, T-A-L-K. All right, so number 21 for dictation is going to be hall. Pound it, hall, finger tap, ah, ol, and write it. It's kind of like a red word, um, but it's really more of a spelling rule. Number 22 is salt, salt, pound it. Salt, salt, and write it. Number 23 is mall. Pound it, mall, m, a, o, and write it. Remember, L's at the end of the word double in this situation. And number 24 is walrus, walrus. First syllable, wall, woof, ah, ol. Second syllable, rus, er, us. Now ask yourself, is that L at the end of the sentence? And if it is, then I'm going to double it. If it is not, I'm not going to double it. And number 25 is going to be walnuts. Go ahead and pound first syllable, wall, woof, all. And second syllable, nut, n, a. Uh, Go ahead and check over those words really quickly and we're going to get on to sentences so you can just flip that line piece of paper over. Go ahead and listen really carefully and make sure that you're pounding even when it's by yourself. It feels silly. It feels silly in our room, but it really does help for you to be able to really hear yourself so that you can remember it and copy it down correctly. All right, sentence number one, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say it two times, we'll pound it two times, and then you'll write it. The whole of your ship is a mess. The whole of your ship is a mess. Pound it with me. The whole of your ship is a mess. The whole of your ship is a mess. Write it. Number two, the dishpan has salt on the rim. The dishpan has salt on the rim. Pound it with me. The dishpan has salt on the rim. The dishpan has salt on the rim. Write it. Number three. They will not fuss if you spill all the wax. They will not fuss if you spill all the wax. Pound it with me. They will not fuss if you spill all the wax. They will not fuss if you spill all the wax. Write it.
Number four, Kevin saw a bald walrus walk in the hall at the mall. Kevin saw a bald walrus walk in the hall at the mall. Count it with me. Kevin saw a bald walrus walk in the hall at the mall. Kevin saw a bald walrus walk in the hall at the mall. Write it. And number five. They put the robin quill on the microscope. They put the robin quill on the microscope. Go ahead and pound it with me. They put the robin quill on the microscope. They put the robin quill on the microscope. Go ahead and write it. Okay, I'm going to be sending your parents a clean sheet so that you can grade. Now, this is on the honor system where I'm giving you the answers, and I really, really, really want your parents to save that and check them. Anything that you miss, you're going to need to write three times, and then you can send that in to me. Now, I do not want you to send it in to me until you've completed the correction, just like we normally do, would do in school. Have a great day, ladies.